Subscribe to the DC Binge for reviews, recommendations of movies, TV series, and documentaries. Hit the bell icon so that you are updated whenever a new video is posted. A teacher is brutally raped, murdered, and then set ablaze. The students protest, but they are met with lathi charge. The emotions are running high. It's a media sensation. We have a police car come and put over him. Good boy, come down. So kindly understand our situation too. A no-nonsense police inspector walks in and starts investigating. He fights the system and he gathers evidence, and the culprits are caught. But oh no, these criminals seem to have some political connection. Just when it looks like justice would be denied to the family of the victim, just when it looked like these criminals would escape punishment, just then the policeman decides enough is enough. He chooses that the only way justice can be delivered is with his hands. and he does a fake encounter of all these culprits what a hero but oh wait this is just the first half hi guys just back from watching the new malayalam film janagana mana in theaters and this is what i thought about it diju jus anthony's second outing as a director janagana mana is an absolute stunner of a film Although there are no spoilers as such in the film but there would be certain plot points that I would be discussing in this review. So so if you're someone who does not like anything to be revealed then stop right now and go watch the film. Director Diju and screenwriter Sharish Muhammad weave a social justice drama. Mm, I would say it's a political drama. Unlike anything that you've seen before, in the first half, the film lulls you into a familiar underdog story of an honest cop fighting against a system to bring justice to the victim. He uses cliché thematic elements like a rousing background score, an emotional family angle, and a faceless villain to make you, the audience, cheer for our hero and the choices he makes. Then, slowly but assuredly, throughout the second half, the film. completely subverts the audience expectations on his head and questions the very fundamentals of the established belief you as the audience have no choice but to just stand in awe as the film delivers a systematic takedown of your deep rooted biases the writing and the performances are top notch as scene after scene dialogue after dialogue the layer starts to peel off and the truth becomes as obvious as the sun you realize you've been played by the director you feel like you've been used like the filmmakers used your emotions against you like they used your beliefs and coerced you into cheering and rooting for something for which you didn't have all the knowledge i mean surely if you only knew the facts you wouldn't have just supported this so called hero right Therein lies the genius of Janagana Mana. More than a movie, it's an experiment that proves how a single narrative with an agenda, if done cleverly, can be spun in a way that appeals to your emotions, emotions that you believe are righteous and correct, but by its very definition is distinguished from reasoning or factual knowledge. That's why you don't question the facts in the first half. You believe what you're shown because you feel that that's all I need to know to make a decision to kill someone. It's an experiment to show how powerful media can be, how it creates and generates opinions in the wrong hands, how it can just decay the social consciousness or the moral fiber of the society. <laughs> and it's an experiment that proves once again that how the powerful can and will use your emotions for their benefit there's a scene in the second half of the film where a cm candidate declares uh, he says uru politician de kai lulla ettom shaktamaya aayidham enda vigaram janangalude vigaram adinnu nammal nedum adhigaram if that thought wasn't despicable it would have been almost poetic suraj veeramandu shines as the righteous cop his performance is layered and understated while prithvi rajkumar on the other hand is powerful and flamboyant his questions will pierce through you like a sword also what i liked about the movie is how seamlessly and effortlessly it finds a way to to use the various news headlines and national tragedies that has happened in recent times 
organically as part of their storytelling writing something as clever and smart as this without being smug or alienating the audience is some serious skill yes the movie does sacrifice authenticity and realism in certain places the courtroom scenes are a bit filmy uh, the dialogue bazi is a bit too much and some side characters are pretty silly but nowhere does it come across as fake and it stays true to the story during the late 80s and the early 90s malayalam cinema was ripe with excellently written highly charged political dramas as like lal salam talastanam new delhi and my favorite shaji kailash's wonderfully written stalate pradana payans this movie janaganamana feels part of that gang i'm sure years from now dialogues and one liners from this movie is going to be quoted again and again so in the binge meter do i need to say it it's right up there a remarkable film if you can catch it in theaters honestly speaking the best way to go for this movie is with a blank slate that means no trailer no reviews nothing like i did but you guys can do the next best thing 